All right, so that's cool. I can just make a new JavaScript with uh, GUI with, uh, with a function called on GUI and then just call that function from here. Okay, so let me just, uh, let's just do this. We'll say, hmm, let's go, let's get, let's make a new script here, a new JavaScript, and we'll call it, uh, blah. let's call it aliens after what it's going to tell us. All right, so we have a function update. We don't want function update. We want function on GUI. And you notice I have all the casing right, so it highlights it in a good color. Happy colors. And then we're going to have GUI.label. Okay, great. But how do we know when we want to display it? Ah, I know. We'll say it. We'll start a variable. We'll start a Boolean variable called show it. Show it. Okay, equals false. Okay, we don't want to show it yet. So we're going to have show it, and it's going to be a to declare it as a var. Okay, and we're going to say in here if show it, right? If show it equals equals true, right? But we don't need to write equals equals true. It'll just it'll just do that automatically. We say if show it, if show it is true, then put little brackets there. It's good. It's good to have brackets because they it work nice for you, and you need them, otherwise it'll throw an error. If show it is true, then GUI.label, okay, and we'll display it. Great, right? Okay, and now all we have to do is we have to make this one, make this script from before, remember, call that one. And what I mean by call is I need to go into the other very I need to go into the other script from this script and change, show it, from false to true, so that it will show the label after three seconds, right? So this is sort of an issue that trips up a lot of beginning pe people who are beginning to code. They want to know how they can change a variable in another script, right? So, hmm, I don't really know how to do that yet, let's say. So I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to go to the internet. Ooh, here's our old page. And um, I'm going to search for... Uh, this is sort of a, you know, you have to know how, know the word to search for. Access variable in other script, JavaScript, Unity, right? I just typed in a bunch of things so it knows what to look for exactly. Ah, here it is. As though I had never looked at it before. Here it is. You, you guys must believe I'm just sort of, sort of searching genius. Um, here it is. Accessing other game objects. Hmm. No, actually, we don't want we want an object. We want a script, right? We want ah overview, member variables and global variables. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Unity script reference game object dot get component to access public variables and functions. That's what we want. We want to access a variable in another function. So here is game object dot get component, and it's going to tell us how to use it. Hmm. Description returns the component of true type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good, good, good. And it says it's the primary way of accessing other components. Okay, so from another JavaScript, I actually know where to look on this page. So I'm just going to look here. Description. This returns the component with the name type, and a type is just a like a label you can attach to a certain. Um, uh, a certain component, like you could say, oh, all these components are for a ball, and all these components are for a horse, right? And then if you ask for only the horse components, it will only give you those. So we don't have any of those. So we just want to, we just want to, we just want to get this variable. So it says that if we use var other script name, hmm, if we create a variable for something, right, and then we call that variable, and we say it's equal to this thing in another script, right? Game object dot get component that that'll find the script that we're that we're trying to access, right? Then we can say other dot do something like call a function from this other script, or we can access another variable from that script. Ah, interesting. So what I want to do is I want to access another variable. So I'm going to copy this code, which is a very important part of programming. Copy the code from the internet, and then. We go into 
got GUI, okay. And I'll just paste it in. I'll just uh, it's good to have um, it's good to have stuff that's you know indented because then it then it all makes sense. You can see how it fits in. So let's just do this. Mm -hmm. All right, all neat and tidy the way good code is. Okay, we're gonna change this to our needs. So we want we have var other script name. Okay, we don't need to give it a name just yet. We can just call it other. Okay. The other script. Let's call it that. Be really specific. Other script. And the other script okay, is ob game object .get component and we don't want we don't have a script called script name. We have a script called aliens, right? Is it alien or aliens? It's hard to remember this stuff sometimes. And that's why it's important to like sort of know your own system for naming things. Like do you ever use plurals? We don't, you have to decide for yourself. Okay, so I'm getting very excited now. Uh, other dot do something. We don't care, we don't want to do, we don't want to do a function. We just want to, we just want to get a variable. We want other dot, do you remember the name of the variable? I don't. We have to check. In aliens, we call the variable show it with capital S, capital I. It's important to remember your capitals, right? Because otherwise always a little. All right, show it equals true. Okay, now we've just completely changed this code, so now it does what he wants us to, wants to do. So let's try to let's try playing it. Okay, so I'm gonna play. Ready? And oh, oh no! It says all compiler errors must be fixed before you can enter play mode. Hmm. Now the re sometimes it'll run and then it'll give you an error, and sometimes it'll just won't even run. If it doesn't even run, that means that there's something wrong with the syntax. There's something wrong with the actual code. Um, so let's look in here. It says uh, unknown identifier other. Right here, other. It doesn't know what other is. Oh, we forgot to change it. See, this is what I meant when I said people like to change many things at a time and just go quickly. Computers are always very exact, right? So we forgot it, but it remembered that we had mistyped it. So, all right, let's try it again. One, two, three. Oh, object inference not set to an instance of an object. Whoa, that's a lot of language, right? Here, let's, let's get out of there. That's a lot of language. It says the object reference, the object that we're referencing, the, we're trying to trying to get to aliens, right? It's ref, we're referencing it, is not sent to an instance of an object. Oh, we haven't we haven't put aliens on anything. It's not in the game. So let's just put it on main camera and let's try running again. Let's see what it does now. One, two, three. Happy days! The aliens are coming. I mean, that could be a good thing. Uh, anyway, so now you see how to do that, and really all you have to do is you have to turn on or off at certain points, turn the text on or off at certain points, and then you're gold. Um, and it's just, you know, I'm sure as you, you can let your imagination run wild and, um, you know, getting this done is just a matter of trial and error and remembering how to do it and learning to speak the language. Um, so that's all we have for today, and I hope that you guys... Uh, we're able to get something out of us going on the internet and all that. Hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, and easily by yeah, well, easily by next week, I'll definitely have this all this code up just so you can look at it. But I won't put it in there for now, just so you can have some practice actually writing the code. Um, and if you really get in a tight spot, of course I'll be I'll be there for you. So just um, hope you have a good afternoon. Happy coding.